Okay, so you've heard of Zyro and you need a portfolio website fast. In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to create this beautiful portfolio in just 10 minutes. Let's go! Luckily, portfolio websites are among the simplest websites to make. A professional portfolio should have three key pages. One for showcasing your projects, another one for telling your story, and in the third one, you should put your contacts so you could be easily reached. You can also add a blog page to write about your insights or experiences, but that's optional. Today we're going to create a beautiful photographer's portfolio. Alright, so first of all you need to choose a template based on your needs. As you can see, there are plenty of options to choose from, but since we are creating a photographer's portfolio, let's choose one from the photography section. You can preview all the templates by simply hovering on them and pressing this button preview. I like this Eugenie template. It stands out from the other templates but also has that minimalistic look. And that's what we're aiming for, making an impression by keeping it simple. On that note, let's start building. So first of all, you need to figure out the structure of the portfolio. As you can see, the original Eugenie template consists of three key pages I mentioned before. Portfolio, About and Contacts. So we're going to keep them. Okay, so let's start with the header section. Click on the section itself and change background button to access the header settings. Here you can change the menu position and align it to the left side, the right side or center. Then here you can control the menu item spacing, padding and menu style. We're going to add some uniqueness to your website by inserting a logo. Tap on the logo, then replace image and upload a logo or an icon. Oh, Wow, that's a bit too big, don't you think? Scale it down with the logo width slide to 40 pixels. The colors look a bit off right now, but we will worry about it after we make our essential tasks first. Next step, title section. The initial one has three main text boxes, name, title, and the down arrow. I think they stick out and look great. Also, the alignment is visually connected and balanced, so we're not going to change them except the text itself. Double-click on the text box to activate the text editing menu. In here, you can change the size of the text, the color of the text, the alignment of the text, and the overall style. We're not making any additions to the text right now, so just type in your name in the first box. Voila! If you already like what you see in this video and want even more professional Zyro website design guides, then please like and subscribe below to spread the word. Let's move on to the core of the portfolio, which is the presentation of your projects. Keep in mind that you need to focus on the photo placements. The presentation of images is everything. The arrangement of the pictures in this template is brilliant. Images are big enough and the elements on the top creates more style and they're also informative. All you need to do here is change the existing photos to your own by clicking on them, then pressing change background and replace image. Pro tip, upload all images to Zyro library at once, so you don't need to do it with every image separately. If you want to add more image sections, that's not a problem. Just go to add section, images, and choose from one of the pre-made layouts or duplicate the previous section by pressing these two little cubes on the right corner. I'm going to fast forward through this section. See you on the other side. It already looks great, but I think we could use even more playfulness in this portfolio. So let's add a slideshow in the beginning, shall we? Go to Add Section, Slideshow, and I'm picking the one that matches the size of our previous photos. I'm gonna quickly skip through this part too, because you already know how to upload and change the images. Just make sure you're changing the right slide. You can see which slide you're on, on this button here. Alright, now let's change the style of the portfolio to a bit more representative. In Styles menu, which can be found on the left side of the screen here, you can choose the color palette and font for the whole website. In this case, I think shades of brown look quite elegant. Talking about fonts, let's choose Grupo, because it matches the minimalistic look of this portfolio perfectly. Also, since our logo is white, 
Let's balance it by making all the text white. And would you look at that? It looks amazing. Okay, below our project photos, there are two more sections, a call out to contact and social icons. These are valuable elements, so we will keep them and move on to the next page. All right, the next section is one of the most important ones, and it's your short bio. Without header, this page has five sections. We're going to need only four, text section, photo section, quote section, and social media section. So let's delete the third section by pressing this little trash icon on the right corner. To add some spice to the portfolio, this time we're going to change the call to action section to quote. Delete the contact button with the same trash icon and paste your quote in the text box. I'm going to speed up the changes I'm making right now, which is adding the biography, photo and changing the text color to white. Great job! One more page to go. You should keep the contact page short and sweet, since its purpose is only informative. Let's delete the text below I'm happy to talk and put a contact form instead. Go to add element, which you can find on your left. It is a circle with a plus in it and drag the contact form below the text. Don't forget to add some space between elements or sections where it's necessary. Firstly, let's expand our section by dragging these arrows at the bottom. Then move the number and email down a few squares and then drag the contact form in the middle. As you can see, this is definitely not centered properly. So what you need to do is drag the contact form to the right until it has even spacing in both sides. In addition to that, change the text color to white and we're good to go. If you decide that you want to add more pages to your website, just jump into pages and navigation in the menu on the left. Then simply add another page, rename it, and it instantly shows at your portfolio. If your page is still not visible, make sure you snapped on this little eye icon. You can also add a blog by going to the left-sided menu, blog, and tapping start a blog. We will dive deeper into the blog feature in future videos. One more advantage of the Xyro Builder is that you can switch to mobile mode and edit it right away. But keep in mind that if you change the layout and images in one mode, it will naturally change in the other. And we're done. There you have it. A complete beautiful Xyro portfolio website made in just 10 minutes. Of course, this is just a quick version. If you want to know exactly what you can do with Xyro website builder, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time in another Xyro tutorial.